Hi, I'm Chris from Focus Right Innovation, and I'm here with the guys down in Colchester at Total Music, um, whybynew.co.uk, and getinthemix.com. Um, I've got with me here two of the new Scarlett USB audio interfaces from the Focusrite Scarlett range. Um, we have the brand new 6i6, which is the one on the top here, and also we've got the 18i8, one underneath. Um, these are now um, fully part of the Scarlett range of USB audio interfaces and deliver high quality audio both into and out of your computer. They work with both PC and uh, Mac computers um, and as I say deliver pristine audio quality so they're perfect for capturing any sort of recording that you might want to do. In fact the sample rates that we can work with on the Scarlet range of interfaces is up to 96 kilohertz and that's also at 24 bits so it's really high resolution sound. Let's have a look at the 6i6 the 6i6 is in this lovely aluminium unibody shell um, and as all the Scarlet range are now in this lovely uh, Scarlet colour. Um, on the front panel you see here we've got two uh, sockets and these are what we call combination sockets. So these allow me to plug in either an XLR microphone or a jack plug from a guitar or any other kind of line level instrument directly into the front panel. We also have a controller here for our gain or input level and surrounding that we've got what we call a halo control and this basically just gives us a bit of feedback in terms of light and lets us know what sort of level we're recording. So if we have a green level coming back from the halo we're getting a nice clean signal being recorded in. If it's red then we know that it's a bit too much of a signal we need to back it back down a bit so that we can uh, get the signals just right. So as I say, we can plug microphones or uh, instruments into the front panel here. And if I want to plug a microphone in that perhaps uses um, a, a phantom power, such as a condenser microphone, I have a switch on the front there which will turn on 48 volts, which delivers effectively what is required by the microphone in terms of power. Uh, we also have a nice big control here for the volume, which is controlling the volume output to your speakers. And we have two headphone outputs with independent headphone volume control. This can be set up to send a separate mix from what we're feeding to our, head, uh, to our speakers. So we could perhaps have a performer in another room who's having their own headphone mix and we're sat in a control room or the recording studio and we can listen to our main mix out of the uh, main monitor outputs there. Other features on the 6i6, um, also we have a pad switch. Now this is controlled by the mix control software, the Scarlet mix control. Um, which lets you do all sorts of um, routings and, and, uh, and settings for the actual interface and we also have a pad switch which will let us bring down the level of uh, a particular input if again we're running a bit too hot with the signal. On the back of the unit here we can see that we have USB socket for connecting to the computer, PC or Mac, power supply which is obviously included in the box and we also have MIDI in and out. So this will also act as a MIDI interface and allow you to connect to any um, MIDI in in equipment that have the standard five pinned in MIDI plugs on them. We also see we've got a number of other sockets on the back here as well. The 6i6 is able to deliver a total of six inputs into your computer. So we have inputs one and two on the front. On the back here we have inputs three and four, which are uh, line level inputs. And then also we have a stereo digital input, SP diff digital input. That gives us a total of six inputs. It's the same on the outputs as well. We have six outputs. And in this section here we have four analog outputs, one, two, three, four. And also a stereo uh, digital output on the back of the unit. So this is perfect if you're wanting to record, uh, you know, singer-songwriter style um, recordings or perhaps, you know, a guitar input um, using microphone, a vocalist and then maybe, uh, you know, keyboards from a line level source or, or whatever really. So effectively we can record four analog signals and a stereo digital signal at the same time. It's in a really nice portable kind of chassis as well so it's nice and easy to take around with you whenever you need to record. So that's the 6i6. We'll have a look at the 18i8 now. Hello. Now this is the first one in uh, the range of Focusrite interfaces that offers four yes. microphone preamps. Yes. Now the microphone preamp is really important when you're recording from microphones. It's important because it delivers the cleanest possible sound. So by giving us four mic inputs on the front here, um, we can you know, up the amount of microphones that we're able to record directly at one time. Again, these are all combination inputs, so we can actually plug instruments or line level sources into the front as well as microphones. 
We have two phantom power switches this time, so if we're using microphones that don't require phantom power, we can yeah, keep yeah. those on a circuit that isn't actually being fed it. Um, we also have our gain controls, and again we've got halo uh, LED feedback from these as well. And also a nice big monitor control with a mute switch, so we can actually okay. turn the sound off completely yeah, just from the front panel here. Yeah, Again, you'll see we have two um, headphone sockets, and this time on the 18i8, they're actually independent. This means that we can actually set up different mixes and send those to different places on the headphones. For example, if we have a singer, perhaps they don't want too much bass or drums in their headphone mix, but need quite a bit of guitar and keyboard. Using the Scarlet Mix Control software, we could set up a little submix and send that directly to that output. Then we might have a drummer who thinks, well, I need lots of bass and not much guitar or vocals. So again, using the mix control software, we can set up a little submix for them and send the drummer their own specific output from, their, uh, from the front yeah, panel. Right, right. And again, they have their independent exactly volume same. controls. On the back of this unit, we have another four inputs. So these are actually line level inputs that we can use. So any sort of line level source we can plug in here. But interestingly, we also have an optical input socket here. This is on the ADAT digital format, and effectively this can deliver a further eight inputs into the 18i8. So this is a really powerful box if you need a large number of track count, or if you want to record a, number of, uh, yeah, a large number of sources at one time. So for example, if you're tracking drums or something like that and want to close mic them, you know, you can use the 18i8 to deliver up to 18 inputs directly into your DAW on separate channels. So we have four on the front panel, four on the back, that's eight, a further eight from the optical input, that's 16, and then we have, like the 6i6, a stereo digital input and output. So there we have it, a good look at the brand new uh, interfaces from Focusrite, the Scarlett 6i6 and the Scarlett 18i8. Um, as I said earlier, you know they, they both capture uh, uh, their, your recordings at pristine quality and are a fantastic way of being able to record yourself or your band directly into your computer. If you'd like any more information on these two interfaces or any of the other Focusrite or Novation products um, available, have a look at uh, getinthemix.com, totalmusic.co.uk or whybynew.co.uk or give the guys a call in the store there, or even pop in to see them down in Colchester. Okay, thanks very much for watching.